Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to properly rip, patch, and burn 360 games. This video will be multiple parts, but yeah, I'm going to be making this because it is something that I've looked up on YouTube and people either they don't make a good video about it or they miss out on an important step or something or they're just, I don't know, there, there's many methods. Um, first, you're going to need a few things. You are going to need a DVD reader or burner. Uh, I mean, you'll definitely need both. Uh, this will burn dual layer DVDs anyways. Um, you could take out a uh, DVD drive from an Xbox 360 and hook it up here. Um, you could also... What else is there? You could also get a Creon drive or get a drive that is compatible with the Creon firmware and flash it yourself. Or you can do what I do and take a drive that you already have and disassemble it and then hot swap it. Um, many people, what I've seen, uh, do to hot swap, they just use the emergency eject hole on there. I don't really recommend that. It seems like it'd be hard on the hardware. Indish that on these two drives, it was not working. So you might as well just take the drive apart. If you know what you're doing, you're not going to damage it. And, I mean, drives usually last a while, so it's okay. This one, as you can see, just does that. And it takes like five minutes to take it apart. This is going to be done on a PC, of course. It's just a uh, SATA drive. But, yeah. Um, also, one thing, because I don't want people asking this, you have to have at least a flashed drive on your 360. If you're getting a game and you want to make a copy of it, you can't you can't do any magic thing to the disc to make it play in any 360. Um, many people also ask, are the discs safe to play online? I have three Xboxes. Two of them are unmodded. One of them is flashed, and the flashed one stays offline. That's what I recommend. I don't recommend taking your systems online. There are ways to do, you know, you could flash with the latest firmwares and all that, but I just like to do one and done. So my Xbox, the one that's flash, it stays offline. And that's how I keep it. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know at first. Um, this first portion, what we're going to be doing is we're going to rip it. We're going to use a program called WX Ripper. Now what you need to do is go ahead and open this up. You need to put in a DVD movie that is at least seven and a half gigabytes. Ratatouille is 7.76, so that will work for us. And today I'm going to be making a copy of Call of Juarez, the cartel. This is a pretty new game, so... Yep. <clears throat> Anyways, just let it load up. I'll just keep Call of Juarez on the side there. Actually, right there. Okay. Now what we do when we're over here, first go over to WX River. It shows up right there. Make sure the drive is spinning. Then look for your magic number and stop your drive. Click save and save your layout file. I'll call it... I just call it cartel. Now what we want to do is open it, but we want to edit it. So go ahead, edit it in Notepad, and change this third C to a capital D, and now save it. And we can open it. As you can see now, it says copy dummy dummy, and that's exactly what we want. So now what we need to do is we need to hot swap the disk. Hot swapping involves popping, switching the disks in the drive without hitting the eject button. So that's why some people use emergency eject, and I think the easiest way to do it is just to disassemble your drive. You're not going to risk, I mean, you will avoid your warranty opening it up, but I mean, it's a lot easier on the hardware in the long run. And in addition to that, this will, uh, if you want to, this will give you an opportunity to uh, clean your laser if you really want to do that, which is what I did. So you pop it out, take out our ratatouille, and you can see everything's nice and clean in there. One thing when you're ripping your game, this should be common sense. The game has to be spotless. No smudges, no scratches, has to be just in excellent condition. Maybe like a few like tiny, tiny, tiny things here and there is okay, because I did that with my battlefield and it was fine. But this game is still like brand new. It's in perfect condition. So yeah, we got Call of Juarez there. Now close the drive again. Make sure it is nice and closed, sealed. 
now what we want to do is spin the drive. <coughs> Once it has done that, you can click Start Dump. And I have a few other games that I copied already there. But let's call it, I'll call it the actual name Call of Juarez. Just put COJ Cartel. Saved as an ISO. So now it's going to start dumping. And once it does that, then you're good to go. Um, a forewarning also the ISO is going to be, no matter what game it is your ISO will be 7.05 gigabytes. If you're getting an ISO that's like three or four gigabytes, do it over. You're messing up on something or the just something messed up because that's not gonna work. Um, so just let this run for about 20, 30 minutes whenever it's done. And when we are back, when it's all over, I am going to show you how to properly patch them.